my dad wanted me to get the starting spot my sophomore year um, at St. Louis. And so I would, I would have to go to football practice instead of skipping and going to this church camp. So um, me and my brother, Talia, who isn't here, um, growing up, we, we didn't really have a good relationship. You know, we, we'd always fight just like how brothers are supposed to fight usually. But um, I'd say, you know, when you ask your brother to do something for you, usually they give you attitude, you know, and, and then that's when everything starts. You know, you want to fight them, you want to you beat them up, you want to do whatever. And so when they went to this church camp, even with my sisters, they went to this church camp, I think on Friday or Saturday, I believe, um, they have this thing where the parents are able to go and see um, what their children have learned throughout the week um, at this church camp. I wasn't able to go, but when I went to go and pick them up with my mom the next day, um, that was that was the that was the kind of turning point in my life with my walk with um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I I didn't know what being born again was at the moment too. So when we went and picked them up, um, my brother came. He, he ran up to me, he hugged me, and he told me he loved me. And I don't know about you guys, but when you're in ninth grade, going into 10th grade, when your brother tells you he loves you, it's not really common for you to tell you you love him back, you know? So, I mean, I, I was just in shock at the moment. And so we ended up coming coming home, you know, and I'm just like, okay, you know, this is probably just gonna last in the moment. This is probably gonna be in the moment kind of thing. When, um, when I asked him to go, go get me water, he went and got me water. And so I was like, okay, okay, you know, that's good. He's, he's doing pretty good at, from this church camp, from what this church camp has taught him. So um, next thing we ended up doing is he usually gets on the video games first. Instead of him going on the video games, I jumped on the video games and I wanted to see his reaction. So he comes and he just sits down and he just starts watching me. He just starts watching me. Then he pulls out his Bible. Pulls out his Bible and he starts reading. He starts reading the Bible. And I think from there, um, to see the change, uh, to see how fast he's changed, um, kind of kind of ushered me into that, that realm of, you know, if, if God can do this to, to my little brother, I want to see what he can do for me. And so uh, December, December of that year, or January, I mean, January of the following year, um, Pastor Mom ended up having an altar call. I ended up giving my life to Christ that January, and um, my life has, has changed. And so now we're here. We're, we're about to go into football realm now. Um, when we went, when we, when we were um, down in halftime, uh, Coach Saban got the quarterbacks together, and he, he told um, the quarterbacks that, Tua, you're going to start the second half, and um, we're going to rotate you and Jalen every series. You know, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I went in. I mean, I, I was just excited. The first thing that came to my mind was opportunity. You know, this was, this was an opportunity for me to, to get a chance to, to show what I'm able to do, what I'm capable of. And um, I got in, you know, and I, we, we, we just started playing. I mean, there, there really were no nerves. Um, but every time before series, during series, after series, I mean, the biggest thing helped me, that, the biggest thing that helped me was my faith, um, you know? Praying, praying through series and whatnot um, kept me calm, you know. I mean, during that sack, well, okay, first off, watching the game after the game, I was more nervous watching the game after the game than I was in the game, um, like for myself, you know, just because of how much people were, were at the game and not even realizing how much people were watching the game as well. So, I mean, it was an amazing experience. Um, when I took the sack, I mean, I, I just thought, all right, we, we just got to get closer. That's all. We just got to get closer to the first down. You know, and I wasn't even thinking of, of the outcome happening like that, you know. But, I mean, I like to thank God and praise him for what he's done in my life as well as my family's. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I just like to thank you guys for the support. Um, I also like to, like to give it. Tell, tell the family one thing, tell everybody one thing, you know, especially you kids out there, um, honor your parents. You know, your parents, your parents are, your parents are the only thing you guys have, really. Um, 
You only get them once. Um, you know, and you don't get to choose your parents as well. You know, and um, I talked to a middle school on Wednesday, this past Wednesday. You know, and I asked them, how many of you, you want to live forever? You know, how many of you want to have a long, prosperous life here on this earth? And most of them raised their hand. Almost every single one of them raised their hand. Because in the Bible, um, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother, so that your years on earth shall be prolonged. You know, I think in a Samoan family, the way we were raised, you know, I, I honor our culture. I honor the respect that we have for our elders, the respect that we have for our cousins, our brothers, our sisters, um, and the respect that we have for people that aren't of our family. You know, and I, I, I think I think family family is most definitely the only thing we have. testimony of myself um, that doesn't say friends are good you know friends are good but they won't always be there like family is you know and so I like to honor my parents mom and dad well mom isn't here but dad I'd just like to thank you guys thank you guys for raising me the way you guys have um, disciplining me the way you guys have. dad for giving me this opportunity thank you guys for letting me um speak on this platform as well you know and I think um, for each and every single one of us um, to kind of hold true to, to, to the word of God you can only you can only do so much in the kingdom of God and it gets restricted if you're not a born-again Christian if you're not a born-again Christian you don't have the same authority as those who are saved um, one testimony I gave was um, the power of the tongue. You know, in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, it said, um, God spoke. So God God said, let there be light. And there was light. See, God didn't, God didn't form the earth with his hands, but he spoke it. And it happened. That same authority, when Jesus came down here on this earth, when he was healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, doing all of these miracles, he spoke it didn't only touch he spoke and I think in order for us to, to receive that we need to be a born-again Christian because in the Bible it says the power of death and life is in your tongue you know and and I don't want to assume that any of us or every single one of us here have given their life to Christ but tomorrow's not promised tomorrow isn't promised and if, if we could all please bow our heads um, for a moment. You know, and I, 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 I don't want to assume that, that, that you guys are saved. You guys aren't, you know. But if this is a moment where you want to you wanna experience what, what God um, wants to do in your life, then I, I, I want you to say this prayer with me. I want you to say, dear God, I thank you. For the miraculous life I am living, I like to ask you to forgive me for all my sins. I ask you to come into my heart, to be the Lord of my life. I believe that you died on the cross, and on the third day, you rose again. I confess your lordship over my life, and I will never be the same, in Jesus' name, thank you guys, I, I like to really appreciate you guys, and for those of you who, who spoke that and meant that from the bottom of your heart, I want you to know that heaven is rejoicing for you guys, and you know, all our pastors here as well, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're excited as well, so I like to honor you guys, and I like to thank you guys for being here, you know, this is, a, this is for the community, this isn't just for me. This is also for, for my family, you know, and i just like to thank you guys once again. I can't thank you guys enough, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy um, the rest of your day. Um, I'm sure we're going to have uh, pictures and, and signing soon, so yeah, thank you guys so much. God bless. Roll time.